Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Well, it is time to get cracking and make my February VIP card club project that I send out to all of my VIPs. Um, this month I wanted to feature this really cute stamp set. I'll show you here. Isn't that adorable with all those little critters? And it has little punny phrases. This is called You're the Goat. It's G-O-A-T. And that is an acronym that stands for Greatest of All Time. And that is a phrase that we like to use to describe someone who we think is the best. Elvis Presley was the goat. You know, something like that. That would be my mother's thought. <laughs> so here's your kit. I decided to dig into some of my scraps and I'm also using up some of that uh, gloss spray paper that I created and it's sort of a rainbowy color. Every card kit will be a little bit different. I did use the um, tag thin cut set to create that tag shape. Um, we'll show you what you're going to get. You'll get an envelope. There doesn't happen to be one in here, but your kit will include an envelope. It will have this little piece of um, ribbon, piece of white daisy cardstock that will have your image stamped on it already. I just left this one blank to show you how I'm stamping. You'll have two little thin strips of, I think, green, or if you want to do the blue, however you want to do it. This piece of black, glacier tag shape, and then here's one of those pieces of that gloss media spray paper that I made, and a card base. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is get after stamping my little image. I think I will pull out the little foam pad that comes with each of our stamp sets gives a little bit of cushion and helps you to get a little better image, especially when the images have a solid um, nature to them. Now this is the little whale, and there are all sorts of really cute things on here. You can flip it over so you can sneaky peeky at it. There's a goat and a lion and a crab and a frog, cat, a puppy, um, the whale, an owl, and a moose. So I'm stamping the whale down and up. That looks pretty good. And then I have the little sentiment that says, get whale soon. <laughs> I think that's so cute. And we all need to have get well soon cards in our stash. So I thought this would be fun. I used um, our charcoal ink. I thought the black was a little harsh and the charcoal was just enough. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clear shimmer brush and I'm just going to slather a little bit over the top of the whale. He just needed a little something something, a little sparkle sparkle. And then I just did a little tappa tappa, give a little sparkle. You can see that. If I tip it correctly there, you can see that on there. Clear shimmer is your friend. Okay, let's build our tag. Got the tag base, and I've got this little piece here. This goes down first, and everyone's will look a little different because no two of these kinds of backgrounds are the same. Put this right on top of there. I'm going to grab my pen and I'm going to draw some lines along here just to give it a little definition. Just like so. Okay, 
you will need to have some sort of a, a stapler or if you want to um, put your little ribbon on using glue dots, you could do that. I'm fishing it through and I've got my little Tim Holtz tiny attacher here and I'm going to do a couple of staples. Oh, well, isn't that just a bummer? Let's try one more time. Oh, it's going to be a stinker on me. You know why? Because it's out of staples. Well, yep, one's going to have to do for now. I'm going to go with a diagonal with my adhesive, just like that. Um, the paper is cut to six inches, so you should have plenty of room to lay that down. Um, I am going to do the glue for the little tiny strips, though I think a tape runner would work, but because these are quarter inches wide, I'm just afraid that that's going to give me some trouble. So, glue it is. But you can use whatever floats your boat. Okay. And it hangs over the edge, which is no problem. You flip it over. And just trim right along the edge of the card base. And that's your card base. And here we go. I'm going to glue this down. You could glue it, tape it, glue dot it, pop it up with pop uh, adhesive, whatever you like. And I'm eyeballing. You are certainly welcome to measure. I just don't because I'm lazy. And that's it. That's your card kit for February VIPs. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy putting your kits together. Have a blessed crafty day and I'll see you next time.